and I have now run my boat off the boat ramp and it's stuck and I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Gosh, oh my gosh. Good morning sports fans. We are back for another episode of Catching the Real Life. Today is supposed to be a Texas Angling Tour video. I am out at Lake Dunlap. I'm putting my boat up first. This is like the most, the most sketch place I've been in a long time. There are like stray dogs and people living in cars. Uh, it's a really pretty sketch area. But I came down and gave the boat ramp a quick glance. I was like, yeah, I could do this. I can back it in. What I did not notice is that there's no dirt at this boat ramp coming off the cement and I have now run my boat off the boat ramp and it's stuck and I'm not really sure what to do at this point because I can't get it back. I can't get the trailer back up. Um, I don't know if I need to call a tow truck or somebody to come help me. I'm honestly not sure what to do. I could take the boat off, but if I take the boat off, how do I get the boat back on? So, uh, I mean, it's a pretty fast current as well for a lake. I mean, I know we're on the Guadalupe River, but there's a dam on each side. So I'm not exactly sure what the current is from, uh, but I'm, I'm pretty screwed right now. I don't know if y'all can see this. Like, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do to get out of this. So I'm going to have to scratch my head for a second. Uh, you know, when I was backing in, it just dropped off and I knew I was in serious trouble. I tried to pull forward a little bit and nothing worked. So, um, I'm stuck on a boat ramp with my boat. So I have to see what I can do to get out of here. Wish me luck. I may not be fishing Lake Dunlap today because this, I believe, is the only boat ramp. And this is the only boat ramp. I'm just hoping I can get out of here actually today. So this video may not turn out to be much of anything other than me just trying to get my boat off the boat ramp. All right, so I just tried to pull out and spun the tires on Big Bertha because it's just, it's just locked on there. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get this off. I'm thinking maybe, maybe if I float the boat out now I leave it attached, but float the boat out and then pull up so at least the weight of the boat's not on there. That boat's gonna go downstream quick because this is a pretty swift current here. But I may not have a choice, but I gotta keep that boat attached because I can't just let it go because there's no other, this is the only boat ramp. If there were another boat ramp, I could just, well, I don't know what I'd do. I guess I'd have to call Nikita to come drive the van. You know, but at least, at least if there's another boat ramp, I could go tie down somewhere and, you know, like Uber back to my car. So I'm thinking about just floating the boat, leaving it attached, and just float it down so I can pull it. I just gotta, I gotta get the weight of the boat off the ramp so that I can get in. I mean, get out.
gotta think of some way, I don't know if this is gonna be long enough, to keep the back end of my boat from floating down river when I let it off the trailer. I think this might work. Okay. So I need to give it enough slack so that it can get all the way off the trailer, which is about like a boat's length, maybe? Well, maybe I can at least pull on this too then. All right. I'm gonna see if that will hold my boat and keep it from going down river as I roll the boat off. Man, that's way too much slack. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to send this off some more. No, 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 no. Can't let you move away like that. Whoa. Jeez Louise. It's way too much slack. Oh, it's gotta be something. Over there, dang it. What can I use? That would work. Ooh. All right, so I've hooked that line to that rebar there. So hopefully if my line holds, I should be able to keep the boat in place. I actually got a little too much of an angle now. All right, let me get on the boat and give it some slack here. I need it to be straight. I feel like I might need to go a little more. Just so I can. Because I need to let the boat out some more. There we go. So I need to. Well, we'll, we'll see. That might have been a bad decision. Ugh. Have I made any good decisions yet? Oh my gosh. Seriously, this current is killing me. All right, I'm not sure that was a good decision, but let's see what happens. All right, back in the truck. Let's see what happens. All right, no dice, that didn't work. So we're trying to work a little further down from the trailer. I still can't get the trailer. I can't get the boat not to be on the trailer for me to pull the trailer out. Ugh. Hey, well, at least there's shad jumping in the water. All right, that makes you feel good.
have the boat off the trailer which means I can just try pulling the trailer out and then we'll worry about the boat later all right so the boat is completely free of the trailer four foot drop from the cement <clears throat> and uh, I'm a bit stuck so I can pick up this side just try and get the wheels back up or what's your that's point? what I'm trying to do right now yeah how I'm gonna get the boat on there later I'm, I'm not I'll figure that out yeah. in a second I can pick up this side if you can just hop in there and just kind of pull forward slowly yeah, the parking brake is on, it's it's just a pedal on the left side. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh. All right, stop right there. Thank you so much. Good, perfect. We at least got that out, so one problem down. Man, I appreciate it. Tie it off? I'm tying off up there. I think there's another boat ramp in that RV park. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see. I looked on Google and it looks like there's another boat ramp up there that maybe I can park my boat and walk back and then drive over there and get it. There's no way I can get my boat in that. Go walk over there real quick and check it out. I'm wondering how you can do whatever you're gonna do. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I appreciate it. I really appreciate the help. This was, that was the biggest thing was just being able to get the trailer out. I can kind of maybe figure we something out. Pull some stuff down, but if you need help, man, just keep okay, going. I sure appreciate it. All right, thank you to the nice guy that helped me get the trailer out. Now, I'm gonna go next door. There's a trailer park right here. Uh, and it looks like on Google Maps that they've got a boat ramp. So I'm gonna see if they'll let me maybe float the boat down and then drive the van over. This has been quite the adventure so far. Kind of glad I'm out here by myself today because putting somebody else through this, I would sure feel bad. I hope my van is still there when I come back. This is a serious sketch neighborhood. So, I'm just hoping that all the stuff I left there is gonna be there when I come back. All right, I just got barked at by the guard dog here. Scruffy McScruffins. He's uh, making sure that this very valuable boat ramp is well guarded. So the RV park does not have a boat ramp. Their boat ramp suffers from the same problem this one does. He said there's a big drop off there, so I can't use it. So I have to find somebody to get the boat back up on the trailer. I'm kind of stuck as to how to do that, because I obviously can't get the trailer back into the water. I don't think that front strap's gonna be strong enough to winch the boat up out of the water onto the trailer. So I'm kind of stuck as to how to get the boat out of the water. So right now, you know, I've got it tied down. So it's not floating away. And I've got the front strap on. See how high that trailer is out of the water though. I thought about backing it here, but I don't think that water's any deeper actually. I think it's just pooling because my boat is there. So I think that's kind of deceptive. I appreciate it. I just gotta turn my brain on and figure out how I can. I thought I might back up kind of where your kayak is, but this just looks too big of a drop off right here. Yeah. I'm just, I'm afraid I'm gonna run into the same problem right here, or if I run over that. 
I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I might be able to come back straight right here, but then I'm also kind of worried I'm gonna get stuck in the, in the gravel and mud in the, in the river. So, I appreciate it. Go have fun. I have zero experience with trailers and boats. So I wish I knew how to help you out. Yeah, I obviously don't have enough experience with trailers and boats. Well, that's so. this is the learning experience. That's, that's right. This will this will never happen again. <laughs> I will check every boat dock from this point the forward. Footage, so this you know, is what you don't want to do. Yeah, and you know what's what's so stupid is that I walked down here to check the boat dock just to make sure that it was all clear and there wasn't any debris or anything, and it was dark, and so I just couldn't see the the drop off. I just I just assumed that it just went into the river. I guess I won't be fishing today. Best of luck, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Step one was getting the trailer out. Step two is getting the boat on the trailer. I'm not really sure how we're gonna make this dream a reality. But we're gonna give it a shot. I may have to I may have to go and loosen that up a little bit, because I don't think I can get the right angle here. Mm. Boy. Somebody is token a reefer early in the morning. Now we kind of got the boat facing the right direction. Ooh, come on, straighten up. Man, I don't know about this. This might actually work. Oh my gosh. Might actually work. Just need to move the tail into that boat a little bit. gonna go here get off that ramp progress look at that all right ladies and gentlemen progress <laughs> we're out of the water we're kind of on the trailer I'm actually gonna see if I can just push the boat now because I'm kind of worried about that front strap and if it can really handle that weight so I'm gonna see if I can maybe just push the boat from this end 
to get it further seated up on the trailer. And then we're leaving this place. I don't know. I still might fish. See if I can catch a fish so I can scratch it off the list. But we will not be putting the boat in. Let's see what we can do. So there will be no pushing of the boat. Oh my god. Alright sports fans, so this is now a shore fishing day. Um, let's see if I can find a spot. I mean, I'm still here, I still want to catch a fish. So, I'm going to make the best of what I can before I go home and tell Mama Bear what happened. She might not ever let me come fishing by myself. This is, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever gone out just by myself on the boat to go fishing. I was like, hey, everybody's busy, I don't want to go out be nice have a little little peace and quiet a little time to myself when you know it first time out by myself and I run the boat off the boat dock uh, but anyway like I said I still want to do some fishing still want to see if I can mark this mark this place off I want to see if I can do that without running any homeless people Or poison ivy. Any y'all ever had any poison ivy? I ran into some poison ivy or poison oak not long ago. Man, here's what I'm saying now. Poison oak ain't no joke. It was bad stuff. Got some pretty well-worn paths here. I'm just trying to find a spot that'll be pretty easy for me to get down to the water. Kind of leery to leave my car behind. It's like I said before, it's I'm just hoping it's going to be there when I come back. All right, going to try another Guggen Squad bait here. This is the Scout. I've actually never tried the Scout. It looks cool. It's a little jerk bait. It says three to five feet underneath, which is nice of them to ride on there so you actually know how deep it runs. You don't have to remember. Um, so let's see what happens with this. Actually, kind of worried about getting it stuck just like that. Mm. Well, that was unfortunate. That was, that was Nikita's lure. And uh, I kind of lost it on the first cast. All right. Anybody else getting the feeling this is not my day for fishing? I'm calling it. This is not my day to fish. I got a boat and a trailer stuck. I lost the lure on the first cast that I used it. I'm done. I probably got other stuff I need to do anyway. So before I go, a quick Lake Dunlap review. This lake sucks. Um, wow. Uh, you know, given our typical kind of bass rating, I would go negative if I could. I'm going to say zero. It's just, one, we're right under the road. At least this part. I mean, if I could get on the water, like maybe in a kayak, something might go further down, maybe it'd be better. But the boat ramp sucks. I mean, there should be like... There should be chain across the front of that so that people don't use it. People, schmucks like me, don't back up, not noticing that there's like no cement or no ground there. Um, that was potentially very costly. I mean, the water's clear, I guess. The current's really fast, which, you know, is, I mean, fishing in a river is fine, but like it's not fishing in a lake. So, I don't know. Overall, I just did not have a good experience here. 
I don't know when I'm going to be coming back to cross this lake off my list. It will probably be when I'm going to hit something else. And I'm just going to throw in a, you know, a hook with some bacon on it and catch a perch and call it a day. Because I just do not feel like messing with this place again. It was a good learning experience. You know, that's a mistake that I will never, ever, ever, ever make again. But man, it was, it was pretty rough going there for a second. Uh, I had to be kind of uh, creative to figure out a way to get it out. Once again, the guy that helped me get the boat out, thank you so much. I hope you catch a personal best today. That was super nice of him. And he was willing even to kind of stick around and, and uh, help me out more if I needed it. But I'm, I'm really, really thankful that he's here to help me out. So we got the boat back, we got the trailer back, Big Bertha's ready to go. I'm just gonna go to the grocery store and get some food because at least I think I can do that without breaking anything. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is what it is. Hopefully the next trip will be better and I'll actually have fish to show you instead of showing you uh, a screwed up boat launch attempt. All right, see y'all later.